Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about the evolvement of CESA properties. Since its original release in 2002, CESA properties have been continuously improving. So today we will look at the most important improvement happened in the CESA properties space and explore how the CESA properties we have been writing has evolved through years. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. The evolvement of CESA property version. So before we go in deep to understand the evolvement of CESA properties, we understand first what properties are and then we'll see what evolvement happened in later CESA version. The properties enables a class to expose a public way of getting and setting values while hiding implementation or verification code. So there are two property accesses are associated with it. The first one is the a get property accessor. It is used to return the property value and the second one is set property accessor which is used to assign a new value. Okay, let's understand it with the help of examples. If you see right hand side this CSA 1.0 properties, here there is a class imply and we have defined this field private string name. If you notice name starts with the lower case letter and then we have defined the property. Here name starts with the capital letter, right? It has two property accessor, the get property accessor and the set property accessor. In get property accessor, we are returning the name field value. And in set property accessor, we are assigning the value to the name field. So that's what the property does. Here in program class, there is a main method. Inside that, I have created an instance of this employee. The employee obj employee is equal to new employee. And then we are calling the set property accessor obj imply dot name and then assigning the value to the Ravi and in the next statement in console dot light line method I have called this get property accessor method so obj imply dot name over here. and then whatever the value that we are receiving with the help of get property accessor we are printing into the console window and that's what that output is coming as a Ravi same thing we can achieve it with the help of method if you see here, there is a class imply. I have defined this field private string name. And instead of properties, I have used method. So here, get name method that basically return as a name as a part of a string. And then in the set name method, I am accepting one of the string, which is nothing but the str name, and then assigning that str name to the name field. And then once it is assigned, then in the class program, I have written in main method imply obj imply is equal to new imply. Basically, I have created one instance of this imply class. And then we are calling set name method where we are passing Ravi as an input parameter type string. In next statement, I am calling obj imply dot get name. So here we are setting, here we are retrieving. Whatever the value that we have set, we are retrieving. And then we are printing into this console window. And that's what we are able to see these things in output run, right? Okay, let's see all those things in action in Visual Studio. Okay, here we are on Visual Studio. I have created one console application, CSA properties. Inside that we do have program.cs file. In program.cs file, I have created one class imply that has private field name. And then we have created two methods get name method and the set name method get name method is used to return the field value name and then set name method we are setting the value that we are receiving as an input parameter to the name field so that's what i have written name is equal to str name and there is another class program inside main method i have written this console dot write line statement that we are going to achieve the properties like behavior with the help of method and that's what i have written with the help of method achieving properties like behavior so here I have created an instance of this imply. That's what I have written imply obj imply is equal to new imply. And then we are calling set name method. Inside that we are passing Ravi as an input parameter. And then we are calling obj imply dot get name. So basically, basically we are calling obj imply dot get name method inside this console dot write line statement. So whatever the value that we are going to retrieve from this method, we are going to print it into this console window. Okay, so let me execute this and see the output. Output got appear into this console window. First, this console dot write line statement got printed with the help 
methods achieving properties like behavior and then this is the expected output Ravi. So here we are going to see the demo of the CISA properties. So for this I have created one class imply inside that we have defined a private field name and then we have written this property name and this name property has two property accessor get property accessor and the set property accessor get property accessor basically returning to the name field value and set accessor property value basically assigning the value to the name field in program class in main method i have written this console dot write line that i am giving the demo of the csa properties and then i have created an object of this imply class and then call the set property accessor that's what I have written obj imply dot name and then assigning the value Ravi to it. And next statement I have called this get accessor property name so obj imply dot name. I have written this inside this console dot write line because I just wanted to print whatever the value that it is retrieving with the help of get accessor get printed into this console window. That's what I have written console dot write line obj imply dot name then console dot write line. Let me execute this and see the output. Okay, so output got appear into this console window. Demo of the CSA properties that got printed from the console dot write line statement, and we have fetched Ravi value from this get accessor, and that's got printed into this console window as a Ravi as an expected out. Auto implemented properties in CSA 3.0. So here we are going to see what auto implemented properties are, which is introduced in CSA 3.0 and available in the later version. So auto implemented properties in CSAR 3.0 make property declaration more concise when no additional logic is required in the property accessor. Okay, let's understand it with the help of examples over. So there is a class imply and I have written public string name get and set. So this is the way how we are going to write auto implemented property. If you notice, there is no backing field and there is a no implementation for the get and set accessor. So ideally, Compiler will create the backing field and the get and set implementation for that automatically. That's what it is called auto implemented properties. Okay, so there is a class program inside main method. I have created an instance of this imply and I have called this obj imply dot name basically the set accessor property. And then we are assigning the value Ravi to it. And in the next statement, I am just calling get accessor name obj imply dot name and then i have written inside this console dot write line so that whatever the value that we are going to receive with the help of get accessor got printed into this console window okay so that's what we are able to see the output over here ravi okay for example there is a requirement uh, that name can be retrieved throughout the application but only set from the class containing it how we are going to achieve it it's very simple we just need to add access modifier to the set accessor. That's what I have written public string name get private set. So by this we are able to retrieve the name throughout the application but it is set only from the class containing it. Okay, let's see these things in action in Visual Studio. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio. In the class imply I have written auto implemented properties public string name get and set so that compiler would give the backend field and also the implementation for the get and set automatically for this property. Inside the class program, we have this main method which is an entry point of this application. Inside that, we have written this console.writeLine statement demo of CSA 3.0 auto implemented properties. And then I have created an instance of this imply class. So that's what I have written imply obj imply is equal to new imply. And then I have called this set accessors of the property name obj imply dot name then i'm assigning the value ravi to it and in the next statement i have called this get accessor name property of this name so obj imply dot name i have written into this console dot write line so that whatever the value that we are receiving with the help of name get accessor it is just going to get printed into the console window and let me execute this and see the output okay output got appear into this console window demo of csa 3.0 auto implemented properties and the expected output as a Ravi. Auto property initializers in CSA 6.0. So here we are going to see what auto property initializers are in CSA 6.0 and available in later version. So auto property initializer enable us to initialize auto implemented properties without a constructor. 
usually whenever we are going to write any class and if we have some fields and we want to initialize auto implemented properties usually we initialize it in the constructor but auto property initializers enables us to initialize auto implemented properties without a construct and that's what we are going to see in this example okay in in this example there is a class imply and i have written this auto implemented properties and then i have just assigned ravi to value it then it becomes the auto property initializers okay so basically what we are doing over here we are assigning ravi as an as an initializer value to the name properties so that's what it is named as auto property initializer so there is a class program in this main method i have created an imply object so that's what I have written imply obj imply is equal to new imply and then we are calling get accessor method with the help of obj imply dot name and that's what whatever the value that we are receiving we are printing into this console window and that's what we are seeing the output as a Ravi because the auto property initializes initializes the name property as a value as a Ravi that's what we are retrieving as a part of the get accessor and we are getting the Ravi value and that's what it got printed in the console window and that's what we are seeing the output over here. okay let's see these things in action in visual studio so here we are on visual studio so i have created one class imply inside that i have written auto property initializes public string name get set and then assign value ravi to it in program class in main method i have written this console dot write line statement demo of csr 6.0 auto property initializes and then i have created an instance of this imply class that's what i have written imply obj imply is equal to new imply and then i am calling this get accessor with the help of obj imply that's what i have written obj imply dot name in inside this console dot write line so whatever the output whatever the value that we are going to get it for the name property we are printing into this console window Okay, let me execute this and see the output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. So first statement, demo of CSR 6.0 auto property initializes got printed and then expected output as a Ravi. Auto implemented property field targeted attribute in CSR 7.3. So here we are going to see the features field targeted attributes in auto implemented, which is introduced in CSR 7.3 and available in the later version. So this features enables us to apply attribute directly to the backing fields of auto implemented property in auto implemented properties when an attribute is applied then just we need to prepend the field colon modifier and that's what we are going to see over here. class imply public class imply and i have attributed with this serializable attribute okay and then there is a auto implemented properties this is public string name get set and then we have written none serialized and then we have prepended with the help of filled colon modifier and that's what it is possible in csr 7.3 or and the later version in earlier version it was not possible if you see the equivalent code it got generated from the low level language so like this public class imply none serialized and then it got you know created public string name compiler generated get return this is the backing field got created and said this is the backing field and then value is going to get assigned over there so all those things get generated automatically from the high level to low level if you are going to use this csr 7.3 this auto implemented property field targeted attribute init only setter property in csr 9.0 so init keyword is added in csr 9.0 to auto generated properties when the init keyword is used it restricts property to only set once after the object is created the property becomes immutable okay so let's understand it with the help of examples over here there is a class imply inside that i have written auto generated properties name and instead of the set i have used the init key so that it restricts to set the value only once and i have already use this auto property initializer so that i am assigning ravi value to it okay there is a class program here i have instantiate this imply object that's what i have written imply obj imply is equal to new imply but when i try to set value james to it to the name property using uh, obj imply dot name is equal to james then it is giving me error what error cs8852 init only property or indexer imply dot name 
can only be assigned in an object initializers or on this or based in an instance constructor or init accessor. So basically it restricts property to only set once using this object initializers or on this or based in an instance constructor or an init accessors. Right? So this is only once we can assign the value and that's what this restricting and that's what we are get, going to get this error. Build keyword in auto implemented properties in C sharp 11. The field keyword in auto implemented properties, which is going to get introduced in C sharp 11, is going to come soon in, in the end of the year as a part of release of C sharp 11. So the field keyword represents the automatically created backing field in auto implemented property. If you remember, in auto implemented properties, we don't need to define backing field. But how we are going to use that backing field if we if we don't have definition over there, right? So for that, C sharp 11 introduce field keyword by which we can refer that backing field. And that's what we are going to see in this example. Class imply public string name get and field. If you notice, I have just using this field keyword so that whenever we are going to use this get accessor, we are going to get the field value. And in set, we are assigning field is equal to value dot trim, right? And if you want, we can write some method and we can access this field and value with the help of ref queue. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what C sub properties are and evolution version wise. Like C sub 1.0 provides properties, C sub 3.0 auto generated properties, C sub 6.0 auto property initializers, C sub 7.3 auto implemented property field targeted attribute, C sub 9.0 init only pro setter property. And finally, we saw the field keyword in auto implemented properties, which is going to get introduced in C sharp 11.0 in the end of this year. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.